The Florida Keys, the warm waters lapping at the powdery white sand, beckons visitors from all over the world. But for one young woman, a visit to the tropical paradise would be her last. She's known only as Valentine Jane Doe because she was murdered on Valentine's Day 25 years ago. This is what forensic artists believe she looked like at the time of her death. They estimate her age between 16 and 25 years old. But who is Valentine Jane Doe? It's a mystery that's puzzled detectives for over two and a half decades. You wake up in the middle of the night and you're like, um, did, did we look at this? Who is she? Is there anything that we missed in looking at the evidence, the clues that we have for her? US-1, the only coastal highway connecting the Florida Keys to Miami. Investigators say Valentine Jane Doe was headed north and had hitchhiked about 31 miles before she met a brutally violent end. Was Valentine Jane Doe sexually assaulted? Yes, she was sexually assaulted, yes. She was stripped, she was completely nude when she was found, um, bludgeoned and strangled. February 14, 1991. Jane Doe's nude body was there off the highway in an overgrown ravine. There were windsurfers back here and they discovered her body? Yes, they came down the road from where they were. They were pretty shocked at what they had, couldn't believe what they, were, what they were observing, what they saw. Police say she was strangled with the strings of her bikini top. Her body, brutally beaten, left for dead, face down in the water. There was evidence that she did fight. When cops arrived on the scene, the first thing they saw, drag marks in the dirt. The path led investigators straight to the young woman's body. The evidence is clear that she was most likely forced here, obviously. After finding Valentine Jane Doe's body in this area, investigators say over the years, they've received nearly 600 leads. Why was Jane Doe hitchhiking along that lonely highway? Did anyone see her walking? So this is mile marker 10, the area in which a witness said they saw her walking northbound towards the Honda area. What did the person who called you, what did their lead say? Basically that they had uh, observed a woman or a girl matching the description that we put out. They actually saw her walking north. Scattered near the body, more clues. Clothes she wore when she was attacked. A red and blue striped sweater with a label that read Forenza. Cut off jean shorts, black moccasin booties. Her skin was fair and most interesting to detectives, she didn't have any tan lines. You believe she's not from Key West? Right, we believe that she is from a northern territory uh, due to the fact that she did not have any tan lines. Um, you know, usually you come to the Florida Keys, you, you're gonna have a tan line if you're here for any amount of time. And there's more. On her body, a heart-shaped tattoo with the word love. She was found on Valentine's Day. Strangely enough, she has a tattoo on her shoulder that says love in the inside of a heart. Investigators say she had multiple piercings in one of her ears, and oddly, her teeth were perfect. Her teeth were pristine. Her teeth were, were very good. They're very straight, um, like she was well cared for. And what could have been the most important clue Valentine Jane Doe may have been a mother. She carried a child full term. Carried a child full term um, is all is what the medical examiner is indicating, yes. So there has to be someone out there that perhaps has her DNA that could help us identify her. If she was a mother, what happened to Valentine Jane Doe's baby? That child would now be at least 25 years old. Could that person be watching Crime Watch daily and help solve the mystery that to this day remains unsolved. Someone deserves a name. Somebody deserves justice. We all do, and we have an opportunity to make that happen. Mike Murphy oversees the long-term missing unidentified unit in Alexandria, Virginia, and with relentless determination, he and his team say they won't stop looking until this case is solved. At the moment that you identify that person, one's enough and then you realize there's more to do. And so, um, as you can tell, my emotion is close to the surface. And um, it used to be I'd apologize for that. That's why you do what you do. That's why all of us do what we do. That's why the people are here. That's why I'm here. For now, Valentine Jane Doe is in the county social services vault, 
her body marked unidentified. Isn't that just heartbreaking? We want to bring her remains home to someone who really cares and loves, loves her. And as the 25th anniversary of Valentine Jane Doe's murder approaches, there have only been five suspects on the case, none of them charged. Still, detectives say they will never stop searching for the identity of the young woman with the heart tattoo. You do feel that it's possible to still solve it. Some will think that time is our enemy. I will tell you that time is on our side because we continue to look. We never stop looking. If you have any information that could help solve this crime, go to CrimeWatchDaily.com.